Hey guys, Jaws of Shark Reviews here, and so we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Thundercracker. Not to be confused with the, the one from 2018, uh, <clears throat> you know, the, the Toys R Us exclusive one came out like a couple months before they closed, or as they were closing, so um, not many people got a hold of it, at least here in the U.S., um, Probably, like, in Japan and stuff, like, they got plenty of it, but here in the U.S., not really. Um, but, no, it's not to be confused with that one, um, that Dark of the Moon Thundercracker, a.k.a. Um, a useless figure, because he never appeared in that movie, but, um, yeah, no, this is the, um, this is a real Thundercracker, like, he did appear in the, uh, 2018 Bumblebee movie, and, um, yeah, now, uh, yeah, and took uh took that Hasbro almost four years to get this uh, get this version a figure, but um yeah now this is obviously the third use of the Bumblebee movie Seeker mold, and I gotta say like it's a pretty decent mold, but it seems like like in terms of like it's like the way it looks, I'd say like the designs for these get better and better, or just like the details and stuff. Um, but yeah, there's quite a lot. I uh, do like about this guy, so yeah, but before we do, take a look at him, let's take a look at his packaging, and of course, as you can see, it's Super Series A9, Thundercracker, and I get this pretty nice looking uh, artwork right here, and yeah, <laughs> he's just kind of looking around, he's he's one of those um, characters in the, uh, for those who don't know, uh, when he shows up in the movie, it's during the Cybertron open, the opening scene, uh, where, you know, all the Autobots are fighting and you can see their designs, they're more g one designs that still look pretty nice, and, um, yeah, and, like, you know, there's also Autobots, but also Decepticons, and among the Decepticons were the Seekers, and, and, uh, one of them was blue, and obviously everyone, myself included, as soon as we saw that character on the screen, we knew it was Thundercracker, and yep, it was Thundercracker, all right. Now I get this nice side artwork, I know it's kind of gives a little blue, I know it's mainly supposed to be, like, gray, silverish, but it's kind of gives like a little blue hue there. I don't know, but it still looks pretty nice. You can see very bright as he is a Voyager class, just like I said before. And I get more further away artwork. And then, obligatory proc shots. Uh, big screen inspired Cybertron Falls. Sounds like, um, sounds like some, like, town or something. Some village at <laughs> Cybertron Falls. Um, it says, Thundercracker and the Seekers are ordered by a shockwave to destroy the Autobot launch pad to stop their escape. So it's like, what? <laughs> and that's pretty much it for the packaging. Um, so yeah, now, again, like I said before, this is the third use of the Bumblebee Movie Seeker mold in the studio series. And basically at this point, we're almost done. I mean, obviously we got Starscream, we got Thrust, we got Thundercracker right here. The only one I think they really have to do is Skywarp because we did see a purple, black, grayish character, you know, Seeker in the movie, and that, you know, was obviously was Skywarp. Uh, I think there were like different uh, renders, and it had, you know, Skywarp labeled. Um, and there, the rest are kind of generic. So I mean, I'm not sure if there's any other characters, and I'm pretty sure there were there were listings for 2023 Sioux series figures, and one of them was Skywarp. So I don't know. If, uh, there's any other Seekers, uh, I'm not quite sure, but I think Sky, yeah, Skywarp, I know it's the next one, but after that, I think they might be done, hopefully, because, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, then, I wouldn't mind getting more Seekers here, but, you know, just, they should only do what was in the movie, because otherwise, uh, I don't want to be excellent spending figures, money on figures that, uh, didn't appear in the movie, <laughs> and figures of characters that appear in the movie, excuse me, but, um, yeah, now anyways, let's take a look at Thundercracker right here, after like four minutes of talking. <laughs> and yeah, um, this is a pretty nice retool right here, because like the, the blue they use looks nice, uh, this like whitish kind of paint is looks really nice. Um, it's kind of like a kind of shiny blue, sort of. I don't know, I, I quite like it. I, I like how they just make it a plain blue. It's a blue that kind of kind of has like a little sparkle, I, I, I don't know. It's it's easier to see in hand compared to you know on camera like right here. They got lots of nice details, the sub kind of logo and such. And of course it's got some, that same clear plastic uh, for the cockpit there. Or canopy of the cockpit. And then of course it's got thrusters. 
that same nice mold in. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Do you like what the guy here is? Not much different other than, you know, the coloration from the uh, thrusts and star screen. But, yeah. And, yeah. Now, anyways, uh, the only complaint I have is mainly with, I guess, my copy. I'm not sure if that this like goes for every copy, but unlike Starscream and Thrust, uh, my copy here, Thundercracker, has his nose cone kind of like coming at like, and it is removable, like, because with those two, the other two, it's basically super glued on. But for this guy, it's kind of like I can keep it in; it's not loose or anything, but like it is kind of annoying. The you can tell the plastic's kind of warped. And that's how it was when I got the, the box. So, yeah, not good QC there. Um, now it's a little tricky to get this back in. Come on, go back in. Go back in. There we go. And you can stay nice and tight. You have to squeeze it, I guess, to, like, this is how it should look uh, right here, like that. But it just ends up looking like that. And you can see that's kind of part of the problem, and it won't stay in. Like, it will stay there, but, like, 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 yeah, <laughs> like, that doesn't happen with, you know, the other two Seekers, so, yeah, that's just kind of one great, but again, that's, like, uh, hopefully it's just my copy, hopefully no one else has to go through this, uh, and I'm not just saying this for Thundercracker, I also mean for Thrust and Starscream, but it is what it is, at least it's not, like, the wings are loose, like, if that were the case, that's <laughs> like, ugh, but, oh, well, at least it's only the nose cone, and you can still stay in there, just, you know, yeah, <laughs> and, the war plastic doesn't help, <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the alt mode there. Uh, I don't think it showed off the bottom. I mean, there, there you go. <laughs> Just so uh, no one question is like, what does he look like at the bottom? What does he look like at the bottom? Oh, there. there. <laughs> Anyways, so now for the comparisons, uh, we'll just be doing Thrust and Starscream comparisons, because, I mean, if you want to see more comparisons with this mold, check out my Starscream and Thrust reviews, especially my Starscream one, since, you know, that was when the mold was new and stuff. But for alt mode, we'll just be doing the Seekers. Now, it would be showing off all three on screen, but unfortunately, there's, like, they're, they got massive wingspan, and, you know, I can't fit all three at once. So we'll just do one at a time here, or two at a time, I suppose, but one, one, uh, guest, I suppose, at a time. Anyways, here he is. For comparison, starting off for the alt mode, here he is with Starscream. Kind of hard to get a good shot there because it's it may not it may be focused in the back, but in the front's a little blurry, especially where Starscream is concerned. But um, yeah, uh, pretty cool. They look very nice together. And yeah, and finally here he is with Thrust. So there, those two are to get oh, <laughs> this popped off. But, um, yeah. Hopefully that was a uh, long enough time for you guys to see the comparison. <laughs> but, yeah, so anyways, let's get right down to the transformation. Uh, I kind of got, you know, to speed up a bit because, you know, um, well, we've already seen this mold twice before, so. And yeah, that's also kind of why I didn't show as many, off as many comparisons in the album. Because it's basically the same thing, just different colors, so. Yeah. Anyways. So starting off, yeah, parts forming, you have to remove the can at the bottom and then the two guns on the wings. So yeah, boo-hoo, parts forming, yep, yep, yep. <sighs> but anyway, so uh, for transformation, just want to simply just flip this up and then lower this down. Just want to do the same thing here. And uh, this looks kind of odd. <laughs> but anyways, so <clears throat> next you just want to flip around this back uh, fin panel. I just want to split this open and then flip this down and then flip that down until it kind of clicks. There you go. And then after that, you just want to kind of lift up this panel here and then lower that down. And just do the same thing here flip that in and then flip that in and then flip out the feet and then rotate around the thigh there and then close up the front shin section. And you want to do the same thing here, although with this one, like with Starscream and Thrust, you just also want to flip this in as well, since that's there. So we're kind of getting along somewhere now. And then next, you just want to split open these panels, then unattach the nose cone, it's pretty tight, <laughs> and flip that down, and then flip up these those side panels, squeeze them together, and then flip that up. 
And then next, just want to strain out the arms and then rotate them outwards, make sure it's all getting lined up. And then squeeze that together and then rotate down the shoulder there a bit and then rotate around the bicep. I'm basically showing off the articulation, the whole articulation with this transformation, but then flip out the hand. You just want to do the same thing here. Flip this around, click that in, and then lower down the arm, and then rotate around the bicep, yeah, bicep, then flip out the hand. And then after that, you just want to just kind of lift this all up, and then at the same time, you just want to flip down the head section and just make this all collapse inwards. Uh, is there enough clearance? Why isn't it not? Not. Yeah. Why is, why is this not? <laughs> oh, actually, wait, no, it is our end. <laughs> Foolish me. And then next, you just want to flip up these little pieces on either side of the uh, chest. And then once you got that situated right there, oh, and then also you just want to raise up the these parts of the wings. Um, there's that. And once you got that all done there, uh, there you guys have... Thundercracker in his robot mode, and yeah, I gotta say, this looks pretty, pretty nice. Um, again, another great uh, use of the Seeker mold, and you know, it still comes up with something new. Because initially, when I thought they were gonna do Thundercracker Scarab, I thought they were, it's like, oh yeah, it's just gonna be uh, Star Screen, but with different colors. Like I thought the only ex exception was like Thrust, but no, like with this one, it's more like the Bias Mark Star Screen, but then they gave him. The thrust head slash blitzling is originally from uh, Studio Series only movie Blitzling, but um, but then they reused it for thrust, and it's kind of more like that one because has like the black helmet area, whereas on uh, Blitzling is like a like a gunmetal gray sort of. But um, yeah, so here is Thundercracker. It's the full shot of him, full way right there. Now let's take a look at that good old head sculpts. Which we've already seen before, but <laughs> just gotta like it again. I uh, do quite like it. Of course, it's got this nice blue again. I do like how it kind of gives that shine. Um, what I don't like is kind of the inconsistency over here. It's kind of like a dark, you know, like the kind of more fade out yellow. And then with this one, it's just, it just fall out yellow. <laughs> so it looks a little kind of inconsistent, but hey, eh, it is what it is. And I got these other pieces here. Good. Be nice if there was a bit more paint on the legs, I suppose, but nonetheless, pretty nice. And you know what's interesting is they actually like went out of their way to paint that red little st red stripes on both of the biceps. Like they, they didn't have to do that. They they didn't need to do that. <laughs> like like they, they didn't have to, but they they went out of their way and did it. So props to Hasbro. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so anyways, now for the articulation on this guy. His head can move side to side. His head can move up. Um, I think he could move this like all the way up, but then it kind of loosens things and like kind of close to popping out the head from the the ball joint there. And can look down only about that far. Or so um, let me focus on this bit there here. Uh, but yeah, and then. Arms can move a full of 180 degrees, sort of, uh, or at least at the shoulders. Like, really, they can, but then, like, in terms of the actual arms, uh, the, well, the wings are in the way. But if you can move this out, then you will get the full 180 degree movement. So, yeah, uh, biceps do swivel, the, and then the shoulders move, do move outwards. The elbows do bend well over 90 degrees, and then... The hands do move up and down. It, this is the same articulation as the other two Seekers. Uh, he does have waist rotation, but it's under there. It's not this... Don't look at, ignore this gray piece. And that's where the uh, waist swivel is. It's kind of subtle, though. But yeah. Legs do kick up this far. Back that far. <clears throat> and then they do move out that far. Thighs swivel. Bend at the knee. About 90 degrees. And then the ankles do pivot, and the feet do move back and forth. You can really get only get the movement when you move it to the side. You can slightly get in this position, but it ain't that great. 
Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the articulation on this guy. So, anyways, uh, yeah, now for accessories, we can get to get a look at them. Um, here we have his giant old blaster. Now, if you think, oh, how am I, I'm gonna get this mixed up with Star Screams? Oh no, what will I ever do? Well, here's the thing. Um, let's do a little comparison. Then I'll also bring in Thrust Gun. Uh, out here. Okay. Um, so here's Thrust, and here's Star Screams. But you guys really want to know the difference between Thrust and Star Screams because they're both blue. Well, there you go. That's the difference. <laughs> you. Yeah, it, it's yeah. There, there's there's quite a difference, and um, like you know, uh, well, first off, here's the obvious. Uh, Thundercrackers is got like a much lighter blue, and Star Scream is more of a navy blue, and of course you can definitely tell by like the tone. Like this matches with like the rest of him, and then this doesn't. This more matches with Star Scream's forearms. So yeah, and also the can section. This is like. A very very dark gray and then this is like a slightly lighter gray so yeah oh and then yeah the rest <laughs> he's like the only one that's not blue but yeah so there we go um so yeah and of course you can hold it in here I'd say of the three this guy can hold his gun probably the best because like the the other two especially I think I forgot if it's either search or the rest might be thrust it's kind of a little floppy in the hand but this this guy's quite tiny off you know Still pretty tight, but, um, yeah. And, of course, he also does come with, uh, these two little guns here. And unlike Thrust and Star Screams, which are pretty much the same, this guy has, like, a kind of light grayish. And, uh, let me show, um, let's pull this from Star Scream. It's the same with Thrust. Like, uh, they both have the same gun. So, that's, it kind of mixes things up. But at the same time, it's not really much of a deal since, you know, they have the same blasters on the wings. But... Uh, for Thundercracker, though, they did go out of their way to change the plastic color. I do appreciate that, so that way you don't have six of those same pieces and, and the colors and whatnot. But anyways, they, they can attach right up here, as always. And you can put this other one right up here. And there you go. So, yeah, there you have Thundercracker all armed up. And ready for duty, I guess. I don't know, like, that kind of sound cringy. He's all run up and ready for duty. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but anyways, so now for the size comparisons, let me get the, them all strained up. It's a little confusing now that I have the waist for tan. It's hard to see with that gray piece, but all right. So, anyways, now for the size comparisons. Let me focus this for. Wait. All right. Now for the robot mode size comparisons. Here he is with Star Scream. And we'll get thrust in this one. So there you go. Now we got some of the Seeker Trio. I mean, I wouldn't say the Seeker Trio because I mean, well, really that's Star Scream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp, but nonetheless, it's not very nice. And of course, Star Scream is the odd ones out or. The odd one out, I should say, because he's uh, the only one that doesn't have a gas mask, and his wings are pointing upwards, whereas, the, I mean, you can't rotate it, just like it's designed for these two to be this way, and then for him this, because otherwise, uh, yeah, not as much <laughs> details going on here, but, um, yeah, pretty nice, and, uh, it would fit Soundwave in <laughs> with them, but, you know, they kind of show off all the, um, more... Accurate scaling Decepticons in from the Cybertron Bumblebee movie scene, um, but uh, but you know it's a little difficult because these guys have huge wingspans. But yeah, and I, what, what I meant by scale accurate is because um, well we did get Shockwave. It was a core class, so he's like tiny. But yeah. Anyway, speaking of Soundwave, here is Soundwave. I think it's in there. I think it's still still get seen, even though I can do a full comparison. I mean, maybe once we get Shockwave and Skywarp, hopefully then I can do a full comparison. But yeah. Anyways, there they are together. And on camera, it looks like they're about the same height, but really, um, from my own perspective, Soundwave's slightly taller, which makes sense. And finally, here he is with his wave mate, Galvatron, which I reviewed. 
think about two months ago now. Um, yeah, so there they are. Yeah, they're there. Kind of random, but hey, they're wave mates, so gotta do what they gotta do. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the robot mode size comparisons. And there you guys have my review for the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Thundercracker. I'll say from the Bumbling movie, not that Ram Scare Dark of the Moon one from 2018. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, overall, again, uh, another great use of the Secret Mold, which obviously you guys already know I like. <laughs> Pretty decent mold. Not the best, like, by far not the best mold in Studio Series, but it's, like, probably one of my favorites, especially in the Decepticons, because, like, you know, it's good. Um, but, uh, if I do like it, uh, hopefully we'll, we will get Skywarp and whatever seekers are left for them to do. I think, I know for a fact, Skywarp, and I believe, again, there was a listing for him to come next year, but uh, besides that, I think we just got him, and then we're done with the Bumbley movie seekers. Before they do, they arrive on Earth, and then we get Earth mode ones, <laughs> when whatever movie that'll be, Rise of the Beast, its sequel, or its other sequel, because, <laughs> you know, it's getting two other movies after that, but... Um, yeah, oh, by the way, I, I forgot to show off the background, but it's, um, by the way, it's, yeah, like, you can see it right here. It's, a uh, it, like, we've already seen this one before, but yeah, there, there, you just rely on the prior shot for that. But, um, yeah, again, nice retool. Unfortunately, in the alt mode, there's that QC problem with the uh, nose cone, but besides that, it's, this is a pretty decent, uh, retool. So uh, yeah, but anyways guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share for more, and comment down below what you guys think of this figure. So anyways guys, as always, till all are one.